Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to do some planting. We were down at the garden center yesterday because they just received their very first load of trees and shrubs. Everything's still dormant, but it's still so exciting when that first load arrives. So we went down and picked out a couple of things. I've got one thing that we're going to plant out here in the south garden. And then we've got a miniature peach tree, a new one, a new variety to me, uh, that we're gonna be putting in a container by the greenhouse. And when we're done with that, we may do a little bit more flower bed clean out, but it's a beautiful day. It's like slightly breezy, but it's very warm. The kids are out here just playing. Benjamin, have you caught any insects? Not yet? Not yet. I had an idea that I can drop it inside. Yeah. And then I can check it off the list. I don't have it on the list, but I can just do whatever. <laughs> Oh, are you breaking rocks? And I'm supposed to catch a dragonfly. Oh, this will be hard. we might have to work on that checklist in the summertime. I think right yeah. now all that's out are gnats. Gnats, nasty old gnats. I love it out here. Oh, okay, let's go over these plants. First off, this one is tipped over in its pot because it got tipped on its way out of the truck. And my mom said they were about ready to repot it and get it watered in. And I just told her, I'll just load it up in the truck because I really wanted one of these. It's called a standing ovation service berry. So when I think service berry, typically I think of tree form or something just a little bit larger. This one has a very narrow growth habit. So it only grows four feet wide and it grows 15 feet tall. So a really great one if you're wanting to hedge something or if you're just wanting kind of a statement shrub, which is what we're gonna go for out here. I think it might go in somewhere in this area or possibly right in there, not sure yet. I gotta set it in the spots to see which one I like best. But if you haven't experienced a service berry, they're just such a beautiful shrub slash tree. We've got a few, we've got the Princess Diana service berry. There's two multi-trunk um, of those right behind our pond. And then I've got a multi-trunk uh, Autumn Brilliance out here in the South Garden. And then I've got one over there on the end of the West Side walkway. They're all a multi-season interest plant. So they come out with just a big bunch of white blooms in the spring. They're so pretty. And then the blooms are oftentimes followed by berries that are like blue and red, sometimes both uh, at the same time. The birds love them and they're actually edible. So you can eat them too. I've eaten service berries a lot. My parents have one right in the entryway of their garden. Uh, but this variety is a zone two through eight. Did I already mention that? <laughs> I might have. I'm not sure what the uh, zone is on all the other varieties. There are lots of varieties of them, uh, but I hadn't ever seen this variety to get my hands on one. I'd uh, seen it in pictures and things, so I was very excited about it. And then our peach tree, this is called a honey babe. So it's a self-pollinating variety with uh, fruit on the smaller side. Where does it say? Three inches, I think. Yeah, three inch fruit size, bears fruit early mid season, says the delightfully petite and exceptionally sweet fruit tree known for its compact size and delectable fruit, both ornamental and edible. It also says it's a heavy producer and uh, that they are free stone. So they're really easy to eat. And we have that pixie miniature peach, which I think this one's gonna go somewhere near that one. That's been in the same container for like five or six years at this point. And it has done really, really well in the container. So I'm very excited to have another one. And I kind of just want to, even if this doesn't stay over by the greenhouse, the only Hi reason now. I'm putting it over there. Hi now. Oh, hello. Is because we have live water over there uh, at this moment. And we don't have water turned on to all of our faucets out here. So I want to make watering easier. And you can see by the amount of blooms here that it is going to be a heavy producer. My goodness. <laughs> This thing is not only going to be awesome for peaches, but it's going to be beautiful with pink blooms when these buds open up. Okay, so I brought a shovel out and some biotone. I think that's all we're going to need to get to this uh, service berry planted, but I do want to set it in a couple spots. Let's see where it looks the best. Yeah? That would be pretty right there. I like it. You want to help me dig the hole? I grab the shovel. Okay, so first thing we do, we scooch the mulch. Scooch it. She means business. Whoa. What do you have in your backpack? You have some cool stuff. You gonna show us? You've got a little uh, tree. You wanna jump it? Oh. Oh my goodness. You've got a little poodle. Uh oh, it's got mulch on it now, babe. Here you go. I'm gonna put it back in your bag. Let's put them back in your bag one at a time. I only set it in this spot and I like it because I think with the blue spruce here and there's a uh, bald cypress here, another pine right here, I would like to put some kind of an evergreen right in this space. It's more of a deep green. 
So having something deciduous right here is perfect. What? I do. Hang on. Oh, look at them all lined up. That looks cute. Okay, I'll let you know as soon as the dust clears. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing? That's my hole for this right here. Can I put it? Yep, you can help me, but you got to hop out because we got to have room in the hole for it. One, two, three. Oh, oh. thanks, babe. Okay, now let's stand back and see if we like it. I think we do. <laughs> I do. I like it. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. See all this, the lighter colored soil goes in around the root ball and then we fix the mulch. Okay, I think that's enough, sweetie. We gotta go get a water can. Okay, we're gonna lift it right up there. One, two, three. Oh, oh thanks, babe. Well, there it is in all of its <laughs> no-leaved glory at the moment, but I'm so excited about having something in this space, and I think it's going to be beautiful. Let me show you from the other side, like through this way. I know that eventually you won't be able to really see that side from this side, but for now you can. So, and you know, in the winter time, you probably will, especially once that has got its 15 foot size. And I like that it's sort of in between this smoke bush and the cypress. I think that's just kind of a very pleasing thing to have a trio like that. Oh, I'm so excited. I got to start a list now of plants that I put in while it's still dormant that need to have drip run to them. Uh, right now, I'll probably need to toss some water on it maybe once a week or so until it heats up a little bit more. You guys ready to go plant the peach tree? Yeah! All right. There they are, our two peach trees. I do need to lift this one up and repot it, which I will do a different day. <laughs> I did toss some fertilizer in there. Uh, but both of these, the Pixie Miniature and this one, what is it called again? Honey Babe, is that right? I just read that tag. <laughs> anyway, they're both self-pollinating, so we don't need to have them near each other. They can just be all off on their own and they'll still produce fruit, which is really nice. Benjamin, are you about ready to fall asleep in there? No. Tell you what though, this pot size worked out just perfectly. Yeah. What's in, oh, sand? Yeah, she's sanding the top of the plants. You know what, that'll help with fungus gnats. False, nothing helps with fungus gnats. <laughs> okay, I am gonna go work on some uh, flower bed clean out now. This is where we're picking up. We've got some perennial cutback, roses to prune, and other things to do in this area. We're just going to start where we left off about a week ago. You know, we've cleaned up from the raised bed garden up to right here. So we're just gonna see how much more we can get done today. There's also some Boscobel roses on the left side of the walkway here 
that I'd like to get trimmed back. That'll make this area look a lot tidier. These boscobels are just so amazing. I'm just every year blown away by how productive they are, how many blooms they push. It's just, they're amazing. I'm guessing with the time we have left, I'll make it to about here. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> this one about right let's see why don't you cut it right here yes oh yes good job cheers cheers <laughs> Benjamin's help this afternoon, we made it quite far. We only have just the very end of the flower bed left to do, but the roses are done and we did some breaking and it looks so much better. So back right here to where we started, got the rose cut back, the bush clematis cut back, the ornamental oregano, this one is just kind of flat to the ground. There wasn't a whole lot to cut back actually, even though it kind of looks like there is. Um, there's just some little tips here and there, but I'm just gonna leave it for the most part. It was a little bit of a chore trying to dodge all of the bulbs coming up, but there's another rose there, the Caryopteris cut back, a whole bunch of iris and ladies mantle. There's a peony right there that we cut back, a rose, the campanulas we planted in here didn't need to be touched, which is awesome. We did take a couple of branches out of the elderberry because when you stood here the branch that was right there you can kind of see the the stub i need to bring a pruning saw back out here and clean that up a little bit but it was coming out about right here to where it was blocking that urn and i really do want to be able to see all the urns and then cleaned up some salvia and sedum in this area kind of did a little bit of raking now just like always i didn't do a super slick job of raking because we're going to come in with mulch here soon and remulch right over the top of all of it so as long as the bulk of it's gone we're good on this side of the sidewalk this is where i stopped so i just have this little bit left to do here but benjamin and i came over here and got the basketball roses done they look so much better <laughs> so much better huh bud and benjamin got right in there with all the roses he was really into the rose pruning and the elderberry pruning in particular he spent a bunch of time cleaning up just little like little wispy branches kind of like this he just trimmed all of those off that he could reach so this whole area looks super nice great job bud 
And you guys, that is gonna be it for today's project. So I'm just so happy that we're able to get out here where it's so pleasant and actually plant some things in the ground. Although it doesn't feel like it's been too awful long since we planted the yews. I think that was the last thing we planted out here. Maybe it was the bulbs right after that. Remember the yews right there along the stone pathway? That was November, wasn't it? Maybe even like late November. I'll have to look up the exact date, but I think it's only been a couple of months since we've been able to actually plant some things in the ground, but everything is waking up even though we've got, you know, cold temperatures. We've got a few nights coming that are going to be a little bit below freezing, so we'll have to cover spring containers that we've already planted, but everything else is totally fine and and uh, just ready for spring. I think everything's as ready as I feel. And we just have a very little bit of cleanup left to do. We've got just little pockets here and there, like the pocket that we left at the end of this walkway um, that we'll just be plugging along. And I feel like that has been the key this year, just getting little bits done here and there and not really tackling it as a whole great big project because that can kind of sometimes feel overwhelming. Like, oh, I got to get out there and I must get this. That's how I used to be. I must get this whole project done and I must have it mulched by the end of the day. <laughs> and now I'm just kind of like, if I get, you know, a gator load of stuff done today, that's better than not getting out here at all. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like it's been so manageable just to do it like that, little bits at a time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Well We're gonna go cook some dinner. So yeah. we will see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Say bye. Bye.